Hi Cornerstone family and friends. Uh, my name is Nate and I am so excited this year. 2021 has so many th good things in store. I am your senior pastor at Cornerstone Church and this is my first Sea Stone Lowdown, episode 15. Very excited for it and I just wanted to come at you with a passage that has been working through me and around me and I uh, just want to share it with you. Uh, especially in this time when everything seems so crazy and hectic and everything seems turned upside down, we find that God in the midst of all of this is not afraid. As a matter of fact, Psalm 46, one through three reminds us this, that God is our refuge and He is our strength. That He is an ever-present help in our times of trouble. Do you feel that today? Do you feel like He is your ever-present help in this time of trouble? Do you sense that He is your refuge? That He is your strength when you have no more strength? This is a passage that is in context of more than just a blanket statement. As a matter of fact, the rest of the, the passage goes on to say that we will not fear even though the earth may give way, even though the mountains are going to fall apart and the seas surge around us. The image is so powerful, right? The idea that the mountains are collapsing, that the sea is rising up and there's storms everywhere. Now, obviously the mountains, if you look out the window, are still there and the, the ocean at Manhattan Beach is still there. But what this is saying is those things that we depend on, like the mountains always being there, could be like our jobs that we can just always depend on, or the finances that we always think will be there in our bank accounts or whatnot, or the family members that are always there for us. We just think those things are always ever present. But in this time, the mountains, if you will, the jobs are falling apart. And it feels like even our health is surging and just so much confusion is happening around us that it can be overwhelming at times. I get it, I'm there. And as a matter of fact, just this last year, I was in the midst of that storm surging and the mountains falling. Um, in April, I found out that my job was no longer going to be there. And so I was at that place of trying to figure out what's going to happen. That was a mountain collapsing in my life. I really thought that was a dependable job and I've been doing it for years. Yet all the circumstances around it caused it to collapse. And what did I do? Well, I remembered this passage, that God is my ever-present help in times of trouble. I remembered that He is my refuge and my strength in the midst of it all. It's scary. I can remember my wife and I praying through that. Another time that I look back on and reflect on is when our little boy Kairos came into the world. and. The pregnancy was going just fine. It was seemingly just a healthy and perfect pregnancy when all of a sudden the delivery comes along and the next thing we know, there was definitely some tumultuous moments. The sea seemed to be tossing and turning. We didn't understand what was happening, but there was certainly some something going on inside and we were not aware of that. The doctors came rushing in um, along with nurses and it was feeling very tumultuous at that time. And I just remembered again, turning back, to this and remembering, God, you are my ever-present help in times of trouble. And God, Kairos, our little boy belongs to you. I will not fear. And yes, I was very fearful. Yes, there was a lot of anxiety in me. And as I'm sure there are and there is right now in you. But this doesn't change who God is and the fact that he is our refuge and strength in the midst of all of that. So my question to you today is, what is it that you need to recognize? What is collapsing around you? What do you just look to and say, there's so much fear here. I am I'm stricken with anxiety, depression, anger, outrage, whatever it is. And in the midst of that, I encourage you to just acknowledge those storms and say, God, I will also acknowledge you in the midst of this. You are here. You are my ever present help, my refuge and my strength. Run to Him, and whatever that may mean. Maybe just getting away for a bit, turning off all the social media, turning off the news, and just sitting before Him and opening it up to Psalm chapter 46 and just reading it aloud until your heart believes it. I encourage you to do that. Preach it to yourself. I did. And I also shared it with my wife. And I think that this time is so, so troublesome. We are so fearful. So again, 
Go before the Lord. He is there. He is with you right now, wherever you are. And you can just turn to him and say, God, you are my refuge. You are my strength, my ever-present help in this time of need. Well, thank you for reflecting on this with me. And I just want to also leave you with a couple of things that Cornerstone is actively involved in. Uh, church is still going on. Uh, though things may happen, the body of Christ is still moving and alive and well. So I want to encourage you to connect with Cornerstone if possible in a couple of different ways. First off, Cornerstone Kids with Barbara is still going on. So hit that notification button and the subscribe button here and you can just be uh, notified as to when that gets posted. You can gather around with your children and just discuss that as it goes on. There's also uh, a women's group led by Jen and they're meeting on Wednesday evenings at 6.30 p.m. I encourage you ladies to join that group. And uh, if you need more information, by all means, you can reach out to me and I would definitely be glad to, to shoot you some, uh, some more information on that. My email is, by the way, nate at cornerstone.la. Also, the men's group is meeting, and uh, that is led by Brett Craig on Saturday mornings at 8 o'clock a.m. Uh, we are just starting to figure out which curriculum to head into on that, as well as uh, the rest of the time together. Please reach out to me at uh, nate at cornerstone.la again for that information. On Sundays, we are still meeting at the church, so for those of you who are wanting to meet in person, we are present there at 10 o'clock a.m and bring out your lawn chairs and some masks and we are gonna gather safely and worship the Lord together. For those of you who just like to tune in on YouTube, we're there as well, so please, please uh, do that. We are praying for you. We are recognizing that in this time, the church needs to step up and the church is not asleep. The church is not fearful because our God is with us. He is our ever-present help our strength and our refuge. God bless. Until next time.